Hello from the reeds. Tim. I'm Katie. Oh. Lowen. And Van. We miss you so much. Uh, we just wanted to take some time to say we love you and we we miss you. We thank you for your prayers and your support. With your prayers, our family has settled in here for a little over a year now in Chiang Mai, Thailand, and we couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. One of our favorite parts of ministry is sharing with people like you uh, what God is doing in the world. And so that's what we want to do now. So without further ado, let's look at some Q&A. So question one, weren't you in China before? And uh, yes, we were. We left China in 2020 when the COVID pandemic began, and we have not been back since. So in the fall of 2022, we moved here to Chiang Mai, Thailand, and we've been there uh, ever since. So we, we came with the intent to uh, find an open door of ministry, and we've done that since coming here. So we've joined a local Thai church. And then just recently, uh, we've been invited to partner with a local seminary to help train future ministry leaders. So this is going to be a long-term investment for us. Lord willing, we'll plan on being here in Chiang Mai for many years to come. So does that mean the door to China is closed? So I'll say in, in one sense, yes, it's closed for our family in that we, it, it's not an option for us to go back. But in another sense, ministry to Chinese people is always gonna be a part of who we are. And actually staying right here in Chiang Mai, Thailand is probably the most open door that we've had to do that. So the, uh, in Thailand, we had a lot of Chinese family come over here seeking uh, education for their children. There's a lot of international schools, so a lot of Chinese family moved here. Uh, they are taking care of their children here. There's a lot of mom and dad. And so it's gave us opportunity to reach out to them, to provide support to them, and also share the good news with them through the Bible study. And we, I'm part of this Bible study who hosted by our teammates to the Chinese uh, people who want to learn English, but also we provide a Bible study for them. And meanwhile, I'm being able to uh, translate the words uh, into Chinese and the interpreter to Chinese and help them to understand a better way why the words of God is uh, what I'm talking about. Another opportunity God uh, provided for us is one-on-one -on -one discipleship with Chinese and the Thai ladies. And uh, there is a lot of um, need of how to people wanted to know the biblical truth and also how to apply the biblical living to their own life and daily life. So this is what gave us the opportunity to share what God had told us before through our own life to walking close to him. So then just life touching life to show them the truth is uh, from the Bible. Okay, so another question, what's ministry like in Thailand? Oh, thank you for asking. Well, a lot of it is the same, same. Uh, a lot of cultural experience we've had in China, um, we might experience the same in Thailand but a lot is different so for example both katie and i are foreigners here not like in china so that means for us we both need to invest a lot of time in learning the language and the culture things are very open here since we don't have a, a close the government uh, to watching the out for us i mean so we are able to openly share the gospel anywhere we go and openly invite people to come and join the Bible study and openly to share the gospel on the street whenever the opportunity popped up. So we're still using English as a platform to reach out to 
high university students. Um, and then, as Katie mentioned, um, we can be much more openly involved with our church and with uh, sharing the gospel in that way. So the need for the gospel is great here in Thailand. Less than 1% of Thai people claim to be believers. Even though missionaries have been here for a very long time, uh, Thailand is still unreached. And then the Thai believers that are here, the church, there's still a great need for Bible training. And so we're stepping into that, knowing that the need is great, um, but it's worth it. Anything else you wanted to tell us? Well, yes, again, thank you for asking. That's a great question. Uh, let's answer that. We want to thank you again for your prayers. Uh, this has not been an easy journey, as you know, but it has been rewarding because our family has grown. Uh, there's so much more that Katie and I and our kids know about ministry and about life that uh, we did not know before. And so just in the last year, two of our kids have professed Christ through baptism. Um, as I mentioned recently, uh, we've been invited to partner with a Thai Bible seminary. And so I'm actually starting seminary classes online to further my education to help with that as well. So moving forward, uh, we do plan on being here for a long time, uh, but this coming summer in 2024, we do hope to visit the US. We'd love to see you then if possible. And again, we just wanna thank you for your prayer and your support.